I've got a a shot that I want to do that's a hand pulling the little plunger back on a pinball machine and letting it go and it springs back so I need a spring on the plunger and that's what I'm going to be doing here um, I've begun with a bezier curve and then I'm just taking the points and moving them around so that we get kind of this you know spiral staircase spring kind of thing and then I'm just going to copy it and move it down and then select two points and hit the hit the um, um, hit the F key and fill that space there I do it again um, so now you've got a fairly good spring but now what I need to do is try and fit it to my little pinball machine plunger thing here so I'm moving it around scaling it trying to get it to fit so it'll look fairly good and once this is done then I'm going to actually create the spring um, what I'm going to do here is create a um, another Bezier curve just a, uh, a circle and that's going to be the oh what do you call it the, the diameter of my coil um, I'm going to loft that along the uh, spring path and that'll be the dimensions of my coil oh well excuse me <laughs> first what I'm going to do is rig the thing okay you can do it either way uh, I made a an armature a root bone uh, that main bone that I'm calling uh, stretch the uh, st st stretch target added a uh, stretch to constraint um, to that main bone and now it uh, squishes when we move the uh, um, when we move the uh, uh, target bone. Now here is the Bezier curve that's going to be the diameter of the spring of the actual coil itself. So now there you go. You've got the coil and I increased the resolution a bit. So now that's what the actual spring is going to look like. But to get the uh, bone to actually control the coil I've got to create some hooks and the way I'm doing that is just selecting a point on the Bezier curve and hitting control H and adding a hook to each of the points and then what I'm going to do here is then parent those hooks to the main uh, stretch bone and then when that bone contracts and expands it will um, contract and expand the spring in a uh, in a proportional way I guess is the, what I'm trying to say so it doesn't flatten and stretch the shape of the coil its itself when it compresses So then what I can do is then go back and go through, and I do it for each one here. I'm sure there's a way that you can do them for all of them at the same time, but I'm going through and parenting each one to that main uh, uh, stretch bone.
So now, if I grab that target bone, once this is all done, and stretch it in and out, the coil follows along. And it still maintains the um, cylindrical shape without flattening. That's why I'm going through all of this. So now the problem is I need to also parent the little plunger um, object um, to that uh, the target bone so that it comes in and out along with the spring. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a little gizmo object to replace the uh, target bone um, in the 3D view so I can grab it a little easier and I know what it's supposed to do. So I'm just creating a little arrow object for my gizmo. There we have a little arrow object. That tells me you pull this and it goes that way and this way. I know. Pretty clever, huh? So now in the uh, armature panel I can just type in the name of that object and it will replace the target bone. But now what I'm doing is positioning it. I'm just trying to find a good um, I need to turn it 90 degrees and move it uh, along the y-axis to get it in the right place so it it looks good. And then once I'm done doing doing this, all I do is just turn off uh, the ability to see and render um, in th in in the out in the outliner. Now we just parent that um, object to the target bone, and there we go. Doing <laughs> on. Uh, so now what is left is to take this little group of objects and move it into place on the pinball machine. should be able to... Oh, I'm hiding the little Bezier curve there for... Um, and there you go. <laughs> so that is it. <laughs> Hope that helped.